How is uh, traffic coming in to work today? Yeah, don't go anywhere. No, 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 <laughs> don't go and don't leave me. Yeah, did you come in on the 95 or what? Uh, don't go, no, hang in there with me. Stay with me here. Hey, this is Ed with the Employer's Edge and you want to be better at asking questions. You want to develop a skill and ability to ask questions. And I'm going to tell you here right now, if you do not care about people, it is not going to matter what book you read. All kinds of great material out there on the internet, it's not going to even matter. Because caring about someone or something makes you curious. It's that curiosity that formulates you that, to ask a question, that motivates you to ask a question. If you don't care, you're not going to ask a question. You will reveal what you care about in the questions that you ask, and you will reveal what you don't care about in the absence of a question. And all the books in the world aren't going to change that. For example, I'm not going to ask you about astrology because I honestly don't care about astrology. So I'm not going to really, I'm not going to ask you any questions about it. It's not even going to cross my mind to ask you questions about it. I may not ask you questions how your Taleo ramp up went. If I don't care how it went, I'm not going to ask you questions about it. My computer got hacked the other day. And what does it take to de-virus a computer? And what did you have to go through to do all that? Um, you know what? If I don't care about that, I'm not going to ask you a question about it. I just want my darn thing to work. But if I care about what you had to go through to fix my computer, let me ask you, what did you have to do to make sure my computer works? It works great. If someone says, I had to stay here until 10 o'clock last night to get that darn thing to work, you have a whole different conversation on your hands now. But what you did is you demonstrated you care. It wasn't a book I read or a white paper I downloaded that made me think of that question. It was caring about a person that drove a curiosity that made me do that. You'll read books on, yeah, there's Q1 level, Q2 level questions, there's situational questions, there's influential questions. If you don't care about something, it doesn't matter, I'm telling you right now, it won't even cross your mind to ask. What if I was to ask you a question about, so tell me, how was your drive into work today? Meaning, what, did you, what do you think about when you drive into work? I wanna know. See, what I'm saying is, I care about you. I care about you showing up happy. I care about you showing up engaged. I care about you. And because I care, I'm curious as to how your drive into work went, and that curiosity motivated the question. Curious people are never short of a question. People who have never read a single book, never downloaded a single white paper on how to be a good questioner, if they're curious, they are good questioners. Because I'm telling you right now, folks, it's the curiosity driven by care that makes you a good questioner. If you leave the care and the curiosity out, don't waste your money on the book. Don't even bother waste your money on the book. Now, there's several other things, two other things that are going to reveal what you care about. One is, do you listen to the answer of the question you just asked. For example, how was traffic coming into work today? Yeah? What am I revealing to you right now by not listening to your answer? What am I, what message am I sending you? I'm telling you I don't care. Because the truth is I don't really care about the traffic. So I didn't even bother listening to the answer. And I've read a lot of books. I know how to ask questions and it doesn't really matter if I don't listen to the answer. The third thing is, don't steal the conversation on the answer someone gave you based on the question you asked them. Big example on this is, so tell me, how was your trip to Europe? Yeah, I, I've never been a Europe guy. I'm, I, I'm more of an Asia guy. I, I could just imagine myself in that Asian culture. I would love, 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 love. I would love to ride an elephant in Thailand. I've always wanted to do that. See. What I did is I stole the conversation because I'm not really curious about your Europe trip and I, because I don't really care about your Europe trip. That's why I stole the conversation. My Asia experience is way more important than your Europe experience. That's why I stole the conversation. You will reveal what you care about in the questions you ask. You will reveal what you don't care about in the questions you don't ask. You will reveal what you care about if you listen to the answer, and you'll reveal what you care about whether you 
ask a second level question or you steal that conversation and totally me monster the whole thing. So before you go buy any books, before you download any white papers on how to get good at asking questions, I'm telling you right now, it's not going to matter if you don't care. Caring is the number one mindset you have to have that will drive good questions. It comes from caring about people, comes from caring about situations. Bosses just know if your assistant comes in today and says, what numbers are you going to need for your three o'clock? They're saying, I want the numbers, but what they're also saying is, you know, I care about that meeting. I care about you in that meeting. I care about how you show up in that meeting and I care about the results of that meeting. I even care about me being a part of the team that made that meeting go really good. Yeah, I care about me a little bit there. That could be why I'm asking you too, but it was still motivated by something I care about. Go care about someone today. Care about them. Care about the human side of them. Care about the obstacles that they have in their career development path. And you might ask a question like, what are the obstacles to you achieving the director level? What, why have you been overlooked for the executive vice president level twice now? What do you think it is? See, these are all questions motivated by care. What has been the biggest obstacle in your onboarding process? And what resources have you tapped to overcome those? What I'm saying is I care about you, a new employee here, being an engaged member of our company. And because I care about that, I thought about asking you about the obstacles in your onboarding process. Close the book, turn your computer off, go care about someone, and you will be a master questioner right from the start. Because caring is where good questions come from.